What I'd like to do is I'd like to solve uh, problem number 2b on homework 7 and uh, let's go ahead and start doing that. You can see I've got my calculator, print out of the problem, a periodic table, and my conversion and equation sheets with my uh, vapor pressure table of water. It's all the uh, information we're going to need to solve this problem. As I read over this problem, it talks about uh, something called Tumbaga, which can be anywhere from 97% gold to 97% copper, or anywhere in between. And the point of this problem is to figure out what percent copper this sample of Tumbaga is. If I read over the problem, I can see that it is there is a 5.171 gram sample, and that sample is uh, dissolved in nitric acid. That nitric acid then produces nitrogen dioxide gas. That gas is then collected over water. Collected over water, uh, remember what that means. Um, and sort of the uh, overarching goal of this problem is to figure out how many moles of nitrogen dioxide there are based on the pressure or partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide, the volume of gas, and the uh, temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius. Then use stoichiometry to figure out how many moles of carbon there are, and then grams of carbon. And plug it into the percent by mass formula. That's what 2B is. It says calculate the percent copper uh, in the sample. Well, um, we have a total pressure. We need the partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide. Uh, the partial pressures of nitrogen dioxide plus the partial pressure of the H2O is going to equal the total pressure. We know the total pressure. We can look up the partial pressure of H2O and the only thing we don't know is the partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius from the problem statement with a partial pressure of 23.78 millimeters of mercury. Uh, then we can solve for uh, partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide by subtraction. Rounding the three sig figs, we get 731 millimeters of mercury. Knowing that we're going to plug this into the ideal gas law in a minute, I'm going to convert millimeters of mercury into atmospheres. There are 760 millimeters of mercury. in one atmosphere. Which means that the partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide is 0 0.962 atmospheres. Now let's write the ideal gas law specifically for the nitrogen dioxide. Partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide times volume equals uh, moles of nitrogen dioxide times the ideal gas law constant times temperature. Like we said, 0 0.962 is our partial pressure. Our volume given in the problem is 476 milliliters. Uh, convert that to liters. We get 0 0.476 liters. Solving in the ideal gas law constant, 0 0.08206. Liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And our temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius and converts to 298 Kelvin.
multiply the numbers on the left. Uh, times, multiply the numbers on the left, divide by the numbers on the right. And I get 0 0.0187. moles of nitrogen dioxide. Looking at the problem statement, there's a two to one ratio. Between moles of nitrogen dioxide and moles of copper. And to find my grams of copper, use the molar mass. And I end up with 0 0.594 grams of copper. Percent copper by mass is going to be grams of copper over grams of sample. times 100% for 11.5% copper. Which is our final answer for 2B.